Hey, what's up? Just gonna give y'all my little two cents off the rip now that I got myself together. Uh, I got respect for Nikki. Uh, me and Nikki didn't work together. I got respect for Remy. Uh, but no matter what you heard, I ain't never had sex with Nikki. I'm staying out the way. It's hip hop. It's entertainment. I'm a fan of both artists. But like I said, ain't nothing ever went down with me and Nikki. So y'all kill that shit right now. All right, I've been Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, poor Trey Songs had nothing to do with anything and got caught in a bad situation, all right? Here's what happened. Remy Ma delivered this sheather-type record to Nicki Minaj, and Trey Songs was just in the middle of a bad situation, all right? For those who don't know, Remy Ma claims that Nicki Minaj slept with Ebro, he slept with Drake, Chunchi, and a one named Trey Songs. all right? If you don't remember the line, I'll give it to you real quickly. Only time you touch the trigger is when you fucked Trey songs. All right. That was a line of many that Remy gave Nikki. Now, uh, we've been told that a lot of this is not true. Everybody's coming out and denying this. But it's the fact that Remy said it. All right. It's the fact that Nikki got to live with that truth, got to be asked by that anytime she does interviews, anytime they bring up a Trey songs, um, anytime, anytime, any, just anytime. Right. And. What it has done with Nikki is create this friction between her and artists. Now it's like, dang, can she ever work with Trey Songz? All right. So here's the the order. I believe Trey Songz did put out a video saying that it didn't happen. But correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe he put it on his Instagram account. He either put it out or deleted it. The video that I showed you, it wasn't on his Instagram account. So Nikki, seeing Trey Songz tweet. Even when you stay out of the way, they will have your name all in some shit. Wake up to new comedy every day. Focus. So Nikki responded and she was like, LOL, what you should be saying is that it's not true. Seeing as it is not. Real niggas do real things. I done got you six million plaques, Trey. What is Nicki Minaj disgusted about? She's like, damn, Trey, just come out and say, don't beat around the bush. Say we ain't sleep together. Clear my name. Trey Songz went on to say, Nikki. You need to be mad at Remy, all right? Then um, the two went on, and Trey Song says, because if you check my Instagram feed, I already denied it on the video, so words don't get misconstrued. Nikki said, you shouldn't have posted something indirect in the first place. Nigga out, niggas out here indirectly lying on their dick. Now bless your heart. All right, here's what I don't understand. I don't get this one. Why in the hell was Nicki Minaj on Twitter while the world was making a mockery from Kmart on down of her? I don't understand that one. That's some ex-boyfriend Meek Mill type stuff. Remember when Drake dropped Charged Up? The first thing Meek Mill did was get on Twitter and said the record was all right. Instead of responding, instead of going to the studio, which is what I believe Nicki Minaj needs to do, she took it to Twitter. She became Twitter fingers like her, boy, her ex-boyfriend. So you mad at Trey Songz? He shouldn't have to come out and deny anything or say anything. That's not his place. He didn't make the record. He just, the, the product of his environment, he just so happened to have his name brought up. Would it have been nice for Trey Songz to say it wasn't him? He didn't smash her. It, it, he didn't smash Nikki. Yes, he said it. But Nikki was so caught up in getting out on Twitter and going at everybody but Remy Ma, she going at Trigger for no reason, all right? Alpha Telefero, Miss Telefero TV. Y'all on one. Y'all on one this weekend. Next video coming up. The game calls out Meek Mill for pretty much rocking with Remy Ma's disc record, all right? You wouldn't want to miss this one any, for the world in 30 minutes. Alpha Telefero, Miss Telefero TV. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at